Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how to install uh, Anaconda Navigator. And um, we're going to then test the install the Anaconda Navigator, set up Python in Spider in Jupyter Notebook, and then maybe test with some uh, code, source code we have here uh, for uh, Python, uh, Black Scholes model. Um, and see some of the other functionality. So uh, you should come to the anaconda.com products individual, go across to products, uh, look at the individual edition open source distribution. That will bring us uh, to a download. That will then bring us down to um, Windows, now there's Windows, uh, Mac, and Linux operating system. Um, you've got to make the choice that it's 64 bit, 32. Uh, one way you might uh, go about this is go into your PC and then uh, check on properties, properties, and just check here to see do you have the system type 64 operating system so in my case it is uh, i've got windows 10 um so i should then download uh the 64 bit okay so let's go with that for the moment um and we're downloading so i might pause while that's being downloaded okay so you can see we're close to full download let's just open that up and uh, let it execute. Now it shouldn't take too long, but I'll pause while we wait. Okay, so it's here already, and then um, let's go next. And of course, we've got to agree. So we go down, review the detail of the contract, make sure we're happy with everything, and then agree. And uh, we might say just me in this instance. Right. It's a single installation, and yes, I'm happy with that uh, destination folder. But we could browse and put it somewhere else, but I'm going to keep it uh, here uh, in the uh, using that directory. So next, and um, probably better that we tick uh, the environmental path variable. Okay, so let's install. And setting up and let's pause while that takes place. So as you can see, it's now 14.45 and we're still uh, setting up the base environment. So I'll pause again and when complete, uh, resume. Okay, so setup was successful. We go to next and we go to uh, next and then we finish the installation okay so at this point uh, let's see if we can find anaconda okay and anaconda navigator appears here let's just uh, open it up okay it takes a second or two And um, we might pause and resume. And we can see here we have uh, the basic environment here. So we have uh, Jupyter Notebook and we have uh, Spider. And the most recent edition of Spider there is available. So uh, to do the test, then we what we'll initially do here is we'll launch Spider. Um, we, we'll also have a look at how to install our studio. I uh, might do that in another video clip, but uh, let's launch. And then while we're waiting, uh, we can go into um, Vinegar Hill um, Finance Lab and we'll take a sample piece of code. And the sample that we have here, we use in uh, a spider application so that was VBA so this is a Black Scholes model 
Um, there's a snippet of code relating to that I took from this GitHub, um, and I'm going to implement in um, going to implement in Spider. Okay, so uh, what we'll try is go back into uh, our Spider um, compiler and hit OK. And we can do this uh, later on, right? So we take the snippet of code um, here, um, the original, just to point out that uh, this snippet of code I originally sourced from Yu Chen Amber. And um, we can see that there with that GitHub link. And I'm going to copy and copy. And then go into the compiler and paste in uh, the Python code. Try and paste, and it looks looks okay. Some small issue here. Uh, let's just run and check. We can, I suppose, we can take this out for the moment. And uh, okay, let's just run. We should get 1045 for the value of the call. Right, and then uh, check. Um, so, price data frame price, and let's uh, look at the variable explorer, and we can see here. Uh, the parameter inputs, and then the the price we should obtain here. Yeah, the price of the call is 757, 757. Actually, that is correct. If I change the value of Q to zero, I get 1045 call. So let's run again, and then come back, take a look. And we can see here we for the call 1045 for the pod 557. So that looks okay. Okay, let's go back into Anaconda again this time. Okay, so in this uh, video clip, uh, we will continue with uh, launching um, the Jupyter Notebook. So let's launch and to create a new uh, file here. Python. So we go new Python tree and probably we should declare where we want to set up. So we're going to go in the desktop and again we'll say new Python tree. Now it's looking for a password. So we should come down here to Anaconda uh, prompt and then control C twice. Control C Control C, and we should. Okay, so we just enter then uh, Jupiter. So Jupiter notebook password. Jupiter notebook password, and hit enter. So Jupiter notebook password. Enter. And then we enter a password. And we do it again. And I put in a new password. Same password as before. And did they agree? Uh, wrote hash password. Okay, looks okay. Okay, so now we start the Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter uh, Notebook. So let's just type that in. Notebook. Hit return and we're in and we put in our password. And 
and we log in. Okay, so we can go to um, our desktop. So we can go to our users, uh, Reinborn2, and we want to go to desktop. And we'll create here uh, a new file, Python tree, right? So again, just enter our password. And we can enter our code. Now remember our code uh, was in Vinegar Hill, so we just copied. And we go back into Jupyter. We can just paste, right? And typically uh, we would run through each line uh, segment of code separately, but I'm going just to run here to see what output we get. And you can see in distance, we actually get a graph. So we get a black Schultz parabola and then the intrinsic uh, value of these, the same option. So the as before, the option uh, inputs uh, were 100, K, uh, T, R, Q, and Sigma. Instead of just having a single S, in fact, we generated quite a, a few S um, so that we could create a, a parabola. But the detail there, not that important, just that we see how uh, we uh, launched the Jupyter Notebook. Okay.